All right, now we're in the content creator's overview of their system. Now this is interesting because in every one of these fail videos, these guys typically all do the same thing. They proudly show off the system that they've built. And in all honesty, this system truthfully is one of the most cleanest to be presented to his audience. But we're gonna break things down in detail because details count. To his audience, once they're blinded with footwork of looking at this, it looks great. Like many of the Chinese systems that come from overseas, but when we break down the details, we realize that the step and direction signals that are the most critical signals, once again, of the system to control his motors are not using the proper double shielded cable, number one. Number two, the shielding he is using is ineffective because he did not allocate those shield drains to a ground bus. As a matter of fact, he didn't even identify a ground bus in this system. And I ask you logically to break down a power structure as much as he's done, where once again he's discussed the 220 volt AC, the 48 volt DC, the stepper drive outputs, which once again, just so everyone everybody understands, those are the step and direction signals going to motors to control the entire system. He never discussed anything being filtered or shielded on them, nor did he discuss anything in terms of shielding or ground bus anywhere in this unit other than him separating the 220 volt AC line, which he does have an EMI filter on, but it's interesting to always hear these guys come up with their terminology when it comes to separating things to mitigate EMI. Guys, you can, of course, separate components to mitigate EMI. However, in order to do that, we're looking at at least five to six feet before you start seeing a significant drop in EMI. You're not gonna see that within an electrical enclosure within a couple inches of the components that are once again sensitive to it. So looking at this, it's really eye candy to see how neat everything is, but when you look at the actual build, that's where things get deceitful and you understand that the critical details once again have not been met.